Hey, what's going on everybody? In this video, we're going to be doing a book review of A Brief History of Vice, How Bad Behavior Built Civilization by Robert Evans. And apparently I didn't notice this when I bought the book, but the author is Robert Evans of Cracked. If you guys know what that is, um, that website is online. You'll pretty much get the idea of what kind of material is going to be in this book. Um, I didn't realize that at the time, but that didn't stop me from reading it once I started. Now, in my opinion, this book was sort of a mixed bag. He basically takes um, certain bad behaviors that civilization or societies have deemed vices over time or at certain points in history and basically goes over the history of that particular vice and then um, essentially talks about how either that vice is important or serves some specific need in a society or how humans basically ha have no really choice but to do it anyways. Um, but he also does a lot of self-experimentation on many, many, many things, um, including crazy stuff such as eating a uh, fly agaric, which I don't recommend you do. Like, I'm just telling you, don't do it. But, uh, so don't come to me if you go eating, like, that mushroom and die. But anyways, <laughs> it's partly these how-to do things that ancient people did or how modern-ish people did these vices um while they're kind of neat because they're like authentic you know authentic ways of smoking tobacco and stuff like that they're kind of interesting i felt like it kind of led the book to sort of spiral out of control a little bit um and it was more just excuses to do all these certain things i guess um even though technically none of the things that he did were illegal now there were several good chapters i felt the chapter on like the original uh makers of beer was really good the one on tobacco and also the one on greek science and how basically you know philosophy started from this like crazy stuff i thought those ones were actually pretty good and the reason was a lot of those chapters had a lot of backing historical information to uh had the chapters now a lot of the chapters especially later in the, later in the book with um such as designer drugs and some like lsd and acid and stuff like that there isn't a whole lot of history to back a lot of these things up um he does a little bit but you know it's more just like yeah in the amazon some guys ate this vine and that's basically the same thing as these designer drugs and that's basically it so in a sense i felt like the history part of the book started lacking quite a bit and even with the history stuff a lot of it it's i mean it's entitled how bad behavior built civilization but it's he makes basically you no know, arguments of how any of this stuff really um made civilization but like i said the book started getting uh spiraling a little bit out of control especially towards the end i mean the like the last major portion of the book is on salamander brandy which apparently is like a hallucinogenic psychotic uh brandy that's distilled in slovenia maybe probably not anymore uh or if it ever was anyways but basically because the alcohol was distilled with like salamanders in it or has like the salamander milk in it basically it had like a really powerful dizzying quasi hallucinogenic effect on you know the drinkers but there really isn't any evidence for it anymore or even really back then but like i said it's hard to explain how that built like anything considering it's apparently very specific to just like the hinterlands of slovenia but like i said um the book just kind of got a little bit crazy now and like i said it's very entertaining for these like how to's you know how to make your own salamander schnapps basically but overall the book was pretty much pretty lacking in history especially in the second half of the book now like i said it is by an author on crack.com but it should probably have been called something like a different kind of title i think to be honest and the thing is, a lot of the how-tos, most people really aren't going to go through the effort to do these, like, authentic sort of how-to demonstrations of, you know, original vices, I guess you could say. Now, the book is fairly humorous, and it's definitely entertaining, which is definitely its redeeming uh, qualities. Um, there were a couple places where I did laugh out loud at how crazy stuff was, or his own experiences. But overall, the history behind these vices was really shallow. Uh, for that reason, I'm going to give the book two and a half stars. Now, if you just like debauchery and craziness, you'll po you might like this book. Um, it does, like I said, it's not very, it's not super academic at all, and it's like I said, it's 
it's humorous, especially with his own personal experimentation with a lot of these crazy vices, I guess you could say. Um, if you're into that sort of stuff, you should probably check out the book. But other than that, eh, it's, it's definitely not worth it for the uh, historical aspects of these things. But always remember, read victoriously.